This is just a quick video to show you my setup of how I'm breeding grindle worms at the moment. I sort of let them go fallow over winter I guess. I wasn't really feeding them or even watering them. But I put a bit of water in, put a bit of food in. And there we go. Tons of worms. I guess they went down to the bottom. There's tons of juvenile worms there and some fly larva of some sort which tend to hang around and eat the same food I've just been feeding them on veggie scraps and oats blended up with a bit of water to make a mush my big rasborer in my main display tank he's a porthole rasborer he absolutely loves these maggots and so do my yo-yo lurchers so I'm not too fussed that there's these interlopers in here they don't seem to hurt the worms and make a bit of a mess here I'll, I'll just wash this off when it builds up too much that's just cocoa cocoa coir fiber we've got varying bits of plastic that helps helps to make it easier to harvest the worms There you go, you can see all the baby baby worms. And what I would do to harvest is just rinse a little bit of water over that with a pipette into a container. The cocoa stuff floats or sinks to the bottom. It's pretty easy to separate the worms. This one looks a bit dry actually. Yeah, so they're doing pretty well. Very, very low maintenance. And unlike white worms, they can handle the temperature being a bit warmer.